We're going to show you how to do the right wing new style L bracket motor mount for the outrunners the correct way and the easiest way possible. What you're going to want to do is this is your wing half. I'm not going to carry the whole wing half around to show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to put the motor mount in it as if it was a wing half. What you're going to want to do, motor mount bracket, is you're going to want to take that piece of the wing and you can see where the main spars are going to go. You're going to want to put this bracket to where it rests just above the main spars. So what you do is you hold this up here and you take a pin and you draw a line all the way across. I usually do it about three-eighths of an inch so it's just above the spar slot and goes directly into the airplane. And this is how we do this. We basically, I just got a small sawzall blade piece or you can use a hacksaw blade, but you go through after you mark it, take the blade and cut yourself a slot in that airplane. Trying to do this after the fact with a razor or anything like that, to me, is just asking for extra work and heartache for no reason. You do this before you join the wing halves. This is the easiest way you can do it. Plus, it gets it dead on. And you'll notice the thrust line on this airplane, the thrust line on this airplane follows the contour of the top of this, this whole plane, this line here. That is the thrust line. The motor mount thrust line is here. So if you mount it directly below that and bed it into the airfoil, you got it. So basically, once you do that, and you cut it in, this motor mount can slide in. So that means later, after you put your airplane together, you can slide this motor into the rear with some glue, and it's done. What I like to do when I do that is you can see. See here how nice it is? It fits in there perfect. It's got a little resistance. You're not sitting here trying to get it with a razor blade or a saw after you glued the roots together. So basically, after this is in, I like to do one side, just like that. Once I do that one side, I will go through and take some 3M90 here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this root a little bit with some 3M90 and join it. Let me go ahead and spray this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've gone through and put a light coat of 3M90 on the root. I didn't do it on the other one, okay? And I don't have the motor mount slot cut out for the other one yet either in that area. But what's nice is after you join them, you have the perfect alignment tool to align and do the other side. So now that this is tacky, I've let it dry for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stick these together and make sure this joins up perfectly nice. Go through and make sure everything's set. It's just lightly tacky. It's the only way, as far as I'm concerned, to stick these roots together with either 3M90 or 3M77, even a little hot glue can work. CA is okay, but I'm not a big fan of trying to glue this root together with CA. And now you look in the rear end of this plane, you've got one side that's cut on half of it. What I like to do is once that's done, now if you look at it, I have an, an exact alignment to go ahead and start the saw and cut the other side. So what I can do is run that across right now. I'll lean this against my chest and I'll go ahead and cut it in the rest of the way and then your motor mount's done and it's lined and you didn't have to fight it after the fact. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this in real quick. Hold on. Get this camera down a little bit for you. I'll go ahead and cut this in to get the motor mount in, into the plane. This is the only way to do it. You can do it with a sawzall blade, hacksaw blade. talk about much easier doing it this way than trying to get it aligned right by hitting it with a razor after this is all glued together. So you can do a test fit. You might have to do some adjustments. But now we'll go ahead and slide that motor mount in from the rear. Wow, talk about a perfect fit. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and glue it in later. Fits in absolutely perfectly snug right in there. And all you got to do is either add some hot glue on the mount later and slide it in, or you can add some epoxy, 
or Gorilla Glue or whatever right in that root and slide it in. Beautiful. How much easier can that get? m 90 this thing is super strong. I can't even take it apart. Now the motor mount's in.